Hi everybody. I believe the Lord has been putting um, this on my heart for about two weeks now to release this word that he gave me last year on March 27th. Usually when he starts putting something on my mind and it won't go away, I begin to realize that he wants me to do something and this is what has been coming to me. I tried to find this word um, about two weeks ago. I could not find it, so I, I didn't think about it anymore, but the last few days it came, it's been coming again strongly to um, readdress this word, so I went to look for it again yesterday, maybe day before yesterday, and I did find the word. Um, perhaps because the Pope is coming this month, uh, is why I need to put this up, and I think you'll understand when I read this word what I'm talking about. And this is what the Lord said to me. My child, my child, things will never be the same again. My heart grieves for what man has done to my creation. What more could I have done for them? They are never satisfied. Peace, joy, and love being with me, their creator, the God who loves them, who gave my life for them so that they could spend eternity with me. Always wanting more, but never finding peace. I am peace. I am joy. I am love. Soon and very soon, they will receive what they have been desiring. But it will not be what they think it is. Death and destruction will be their lot. Oh, it will come packaged in beautiful wrapping, and then they will see their mistake when it is too late. Stay in my presence. Seek me constantly. I will lead you. You have nothing to fear. You are my child. You have chosen the better part. I love you, and I will take care of you. Do not fear or fret. Continue to give me your all. I will change you. Even now it comes, my cleansing fire. You will burn brightly for me, my chosen, my elect, my bride. As I was uh, just reading that part, a breeze came up and started blowing all my papers around. Um, anyway, I'm, I want to read the scripture verses that I believe go along with this word. And it's found in 2 Thessalonians. I'm sure many of you are familiar with these passages. Starting with verse 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not then? When I was yet with you, I told you these things, and that ye know what withholdeth, and now ye know what withholdeth, that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, only he who now letteth will let, until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness." I want you to pay attention to the last 
two verses I'm going to read because I never really paid much attention to it until now. And when the Lord had me looking up this verse, it really struck me. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth, whereunto he called you by our own gospel to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. I never saw that before, or I never paid attention. Those he has called to obtain the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to be glorified with him. I believe we will work the last harvest. And those of you who have been called know who you are. Boy, it just seems like it's going to be soon, guys. Love you all. Bye.